Hi. The Daily Gratitude Journal for July 21st and 22nd and the year is 2020. A lot of 20s. A lot has happened and I will not be sharing all the details. What I can tell you is that the past two days I did get a lot of insights and the main lesson what I want to share from it is trust. Without trust there is no going further, there is no evolving, there is no growing, there is no success, there is no building, there is no creation. Trust is the foundation to be able to live, to move forward. When there is no trust, You experience chaos, you experience turbulence, you experience setback, you experience um, destruction. Basically your life turns shit. Or your business turns shit. Or both. What I've experienced is that every time I lose trust or I let my mind get in the way and start questioning things out of fear, everything just crumbles. And as soon as I go back into trust, things are back. I'm back in the flow, things are moving, things are coming to me that I need to get, things are coming on my path that I need to, need to use, need to learn, need to whatever. And it's a little bit like for the older ones, we used to have these toys that you would have a little pedestal from wood, generally, and you could push the bottom part up. And it would be like an animal or so, made of beads connected with wires and when you would press, press up the inside the wires would loosen up and the whole thing would collapse and when you would let go because there's a spring inside the bottom would come back down and pull everything straight and would be erected again and would, you would see again that animal that horse, that giraffe, whatever it was and this is exactly how it goes. When you relax, there is trust. When you start putting pressure out of fear, it just drops. And so I got insights on what I need to do on the side of um, sexuality, intimacy, the male female energies and balance of them sacred union within um, I'm actually going to start in the coming days actually coming week um, with two people an experiment a workshop um, regarding the male and the female energy and we will be working together and see how we do evolve what we learn from it and then when there will be more clarity we will be sharing with the outside world the details and maybe we will be able to create a course from it or a workshop or whatever it's going to be but we're first going to work on ourselves and all three of us have things to work on in this area like everyone else and yeah all three of us are teachers coaches whatever you want to call us and so we're going to do the work 
and then share with you the outcome. Also, I got a very beautiful vision two days ago about where my strength lays. I joined a, an online workshop slash webinar of a friend of mine, Ninge. You will see her actually tomorrow in the talk I had in the intimacy in the intimate show. The talk is about intimacy, internal and external intimacy. And um, she organized every month the workshop. It's still in, in uh, Dutch for now. And the insight I got there was um, that my strength and my abundance are coming from within. And we know that everything is coming within, but the way I saw it was very clear. So I will put a picture on screen uh, so you know what I'm talking about. But in Japan, they have the tradition that when you have a ball that breaks, they repair it not with glue, but with gold. And I don't know the name for this. I, I will look and uh, hopefully I'll find the name and put it on screen. And so in the end, the ball becomes more valuable than it originally was. And I saw this during the meditation representing me. And this is also how I have been working. So all my life experiences, all the, the nice and the less fun that I went through, are creating these cracks. And through these cracks, the gold and that's the light is coming out. The radiation comes out. And it was really interesting to see. So I would encourage you to take a moment and to sit in silence with your eyes closed and try to visualize yourself, the representation of yourself, of your gift to the world. And feel free to share in the comments or in a direct message what you've seen. Or record a video where you share it. Or write a blog. Or but do share. Inspire others to do the same. To get in touch with the self and to be really aware of where is your purpose. What is your purpose and where does your creativity, your strength, your gifts come from. And as usual, ask for help when you need it. Because that's what I'm doing too. When I get stuck, when I do not know, I can feel like, okay, I really need some guidance or input or inspiration or something so i go out there and i look who can i ask it to who can i ask for help who can i ask for support sometimes it's paid sometimes it's free sometimes it's a barter sometimes it's a cooperation like what i said the three people uh, who are going to work together to work on our mail and female, inner email, uh, inner male and inner female, and not the email. And um, yeah, that's doing the same, but then in a cooperation. So there are many ways of getting help. And getting help is not a sign of weakness, but it's actually a sign of strength, and smartness, and wisdom. Because the more we know, the more we realize that there is very little that we actually do know. See you in the next video. I'm about to go now and uh, record the video of the energy at play for the coming six days. 
and if you want to find out more about it well head to my patreon you can see it there see you in the next video a wonderful day like subscribe and share